Hey YouTube, this is SignalMany97 here with another video update of my Red Sea Max 34. So as you guys can see, um, the LG's kind of taken over, but um, I'll show you guys what I did about that. Um, I'm going to feed the clownfish for you guys real quick here. Um, if I can get the jar opened. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so uh, while I do that, um, I've got a concern with these polyps. It's that I don't know how well you guys can see this because of the algae, but uh, they're kind of over opening. If you can understand what I'm saying, they're not like flat discs, and they kind of shrunk down a bit. So uh, if anybody has anything um, to tell me about that, please feel free um, to share that. Um, okay, so I got the jar open here. Uh, as you guys can see, this is a very beautiful fish right here. Um, and he is doing very good. I've had him for probably a little over a month now. And, uh... He is doing great, and uh, once I get that dry live rock I showed in my other video, and I'll be showing again in this one, in the tank, I will hopefully be buying him an anemone if all this algae goes away, and the testing's good. Uh, so let's see what I did here. Uh, well, I finally got my uh, refugium up and running, and... Uh, not really moving too fast, but uh, it's it's going. Um, so I've got a pretty large portion of Chatomorpha or Catomorpha in here, um, and that seems to be doing pretty well. Um, it finally, I think, leveled itself out, so that's good, or it's at least fluctuating within a safe range. Uh, so, um, what, what do we got here? Uh, this is a three-quarter inch tubing. I started the siphon. Uh, it's really not going that fast, and it's definitely not filled, like, the whole tube going. It's really only a little drizzle, I guess. Or, dri um, trickle, sorry. And it kind of just fills up here, mixes the air around, and just fills the tank. Um, this bubble wall has been working pretty well. When I first started it, a lot of bubbles were coming out of this, and uh, they just kind of go up and pop out. Um, my only concern is uh, with the overflow here. Sorry, I didn't move the cords yet. Um, there's really one spot that's moving. That water's actually flowing over from what I can see, and I think the rest is just flowing through the seals. Which I guess isn't bad as long as the water's still going through. But, kind of. Sorry, I'm tired. I'm not feeling very good, I guess. Um, and the, that kind of defeats the purpose of having this filter sponge here, I guess. But, uh, as you guys can see, um, a lot of the humidity is condensing here. And, uh, up top, this lid is doing a great job of keeping that all in. I am very impressed. Um, I, I think I, I did a great job with that. Um, I've kind of got some spots marked for ranges that I've gotten it to seem to level out at or pretty close to. Um, so as you guys can see it's at the top line right now which is fine and as long as it doesn't really go over this and if it if it does, I guess that's not that bad either. But, uh... And it shouldn't really get over that or else the siphon would break because of the piece I used. It's only in about half an inch. And then with the dimensions, I calculated that every square or every inch of this tank is about a gallon of water. So, uh... So it's really only half a gallon. Uh... I plan on moving some of these hermit crabs down there, um, and I was going to get a molly today, but my local freshwater fish store, I go to two different stores for fresh and salt water, that um, 
is actually remodeling and I did not know so uh, um, I'm gonna have to wait for that um, so um, what else happened since the last video uh, one of the snails I bought and put in in the last video died like a day later and uh, these two tiger conches are doing pretty good I guess um, going around eating I guess um, to my surprise, I, I was told that they'd only be in the sand, but they're crawling over the rocks, crawling on the glass, and everything. So, uh, that's good. And, uh, when I had the Ocean's Direct live sand, I had about 5 to 10 pounds left that I put in here. Which I, I think was good, and, uh, you guys can see all these bubbles here. This is all nitrogen gas. Um. That's from the bacteria in this lower bottom layer here where it's darker. Um, there's certain bacterias that grow that um, process nitrites and nitrites differently and release the, pro the byproducts as nitrogen gas. So that's going pretty good all the way across here. Um, a little bit over here, this is a little shallower because of the clownfish is digging. But, uh, Let's see what else we got going. This side, it's still, there's still some growth there, but not as much. Um, what I just noticed now is it, is it seems that there's kind of a bubble algae problem coming. And, uh, and I don't know if that's actually bubble algae or just air bubbles that are hooking on the algae. Um, when I dumped in a little extra water from the filter. But uh, either way, that's not good. So uh, if anybody has any um, information they could give me on that, that would be very greatly appreciated. You guys can kind of see it all over now. I didn't even notice that before. So hopefully that's not a big problem. But uh, I also, I still have those LEDs I originally showed you guys, but I changed one of them. And I want to show you guys what I did. Um, I did this on accident. I don't know why I did it, but I couldn't change what I did, so I just kind of kept it. And I kind of like the color it actually turned out. So you got the white light here, but I uh, changed it to blue on the other one just because um, I wanted to. Well, not really, but it was kind of more of an accident. But uh. As you guys can see, it's a nice deep blue color. Um, I'm kind of impressed with it, actually. I was surprised that it actually turned out this blue. So, uh, that's nice. And then I got the white light in here. I only keep these on during the night hours and when I'm not at home. Um, although, neither one of these two colors will change or affect the Chato at all. Um, so what I did here, um, I just wanted to see what, see if they would actually affect it a lot, but, uh, I colored over, um, one light with, uh, Sharpie, and, uh, expecting it to come off, and it didn't, so I just covered the whole thing, and it makes this nice, really blue light, and you guys can kind of see it here, um, this is really a deep blue, and I put this on, the main, the, the main display part of the tank at night once, and, uh, it seems like it actually is really bright, and, um, the people eaters have very green mouths, and this seems like it, um, shows it a lot more than the lunars I've got right now, but that really doesn't matter, because I'm not going to put these over it, but, uh, I was a little surprised by that, so I just kind of completely covered it with the Sharpie, I guess, um, no legitimate reason, but I did it, and I kind of like it, so, uh, whatever, um, let's see here, uh, I was, like I said, I was going to pick up some mollies and put those in here, well, actually, I was going to pick up one or two for that, and then, uh, one second, I'm going to show you guys the rock real quick here, sorry, I'm closing the screens because it's so, my the basement's pretty nasty right now. So, um, just giving you guys another update on the 
bulk reef supply reef saver eco rock um, this is 25 pounds of it I've been letting it sit in here for oh, let's say uh, a week and a day now so it should be ready by next Friday so hopefully it'll be in the tank soon what I was doing before the refugium was set up was I was taking the chato out and kind of shaking it off in here because all the copepods and all the other beneficial organisms that uh, excuse me um live in chato so and a couple of strands of that fell out in there which is fine from what I can see from here they're still green and so they're still alive which is fine and uh, hopefully that'll also help if that starts decomposing or if it lives I, either way and with the copepods in there um, hopefully that seeds it nicely with organisms uh, what else um, still got the pump in here and uh, a 50 watt heater um, so that's about it and it kind of looks nice now that it's all settled and all the sand seems like it it's gotten blown off with the pump so that's good uh, what else um, there's not much else going on in here just just some rock I guess <laughs> um, I'm gonna go back to the main tank real quick and show you guys what's going on or one more thing actually Okay, back at the tank. Um, so I've been having troubles with the heat, and about a week ago, I realized what was wrong. I realized that the fan that is back here does not actually have a blade in it, and it doesn't move. So I tried taking that out, um, but it got about halfway out, and then it got stuck. So I just put it back in. So I'm going to replace that, hopefully. They're only like 20 bucks, I think, not even. Um, so uh, I've got the tube here just hanging into the pump section. It's pretty secure. I did this because if I was to keep this in the water, um, from one of the practice ones I've seen, uh, when the pump shuts off, it creates a siphon. And uh, I don't want that draining in there and the other siphon draining in there as well I would have a huge mess so I put a little tape on here which that didn't work but then I jammed it in here nicely so uh, it's pretty secure it shouldn't fall out and it's just going right over the pumps so it keeps that chamber full so it's not blowing out air or anything or damaging the pumps and uh, protein scammer is pretty nasty um, right now it's got a lot of water in it but um, I guess that's okay for right now um, that's about it really guys uh, like I said I want to hopefully pick up some molly soon and if anybody knows what's going on with these polyps please help me I really don't understand what's going on they were a lot taller when I bought them and their discs were more like discs and flat instead of kind of closing up like this so I don't know if this is light shock or something that's still going on because these guys were under like 750 watts of metal halides or something like that or 450 I don't know if it was the 150 watt individuals or 250 so one of those two but I, either way it's a lot brighter than what they're in now so I don't know if they're still adjusting to it or not, but uh, if anybody has any thoughts on that, please, please um, tell me. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and this is Siglamania97 out.